Hello, and welcome to the Business Services Team Web Guide for approving or rejecting field trips. In this tutorial, we will go over the process of approving or rejecting field trip requests. To approve or reject from the dashboard, we will begin by selecting the Action Items tab on the dashboard. First, we will demonstrate how to approve. Select the trip needing review. You will see it highlight. To approve trip, select Approve in Ribbon. A confirmation message displays. Select Yes to continue and complete the transaction, or No to return to the dashboard to revise transaction approval. For this transaction, we will select Yes to approve. Next, we will demonstrate how to reject. Select Trip Needing Review. You will see it highlight. To reject trip, select Reject in Ribbon. A confirmation message displays. Reject this trip. This will return it to the trip creator as a rejected trip. They can make corrections and re-release this trip. You will need to enter the rejection reason, then select yes to complete the transaction or no to return to the dashboard to revise transaction rejection. For this transaction, we will select yes to reject. Trips can also be reviewed and approved or rejected from the detail screen. Again, we will first demonstrate how to approve. Select trip needing review. You will see it highlight. Select detail in ribbon. To approve trip, select Approve in Ribbon. A confirmation message displays. Select Yes to continue and complete the transaction or No to return to the dashboard to revise transaction approval. For this transaction, we will select Yes to approve. To review more trips, select Dashboard in Ribbon. You can reject trips with errors from the detail screen by clicking Reject and following the prompts to enter a rejection reason. Next, we will go over some basic searching and filtering on the dashboard. Upcoming trips are trips coming up within the next two months. Action items are all pending trips. This year includes any trips within the current fiscal year, beginning July 1st and ending June 30th. All trips include all trips for the call center. The first filter we will review is the workflow status. You can select one or multiple statuses to display them on the dashboard. The pending status will be of most value for administrators. To clear filters at any time, you can select Reset Filters. To view trips that begin on a certain date, select the Begin Date field. A calendar will display to select the begin date you are looking for. To view trips within a certain date range, enter the departure dates in the Begin and End Date fields. For example, January 1st through January 31st. To filter for a trip going to a certain destination or a trip entered by a particular contact, select the destination slash contact field. This concludes the approving and rejecting field trips tutorial. We hope that it was helpful and informative. We encourage you to enter a ticket using the web help desk icon in MyPasco Connect if you encounter any issues.